Hello, hello. Felipe, Jose, welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello. hello. It's a pleasure hey, to see you. Good It's a pleasure to Good see you again. It's a pleasure. <laughs> okay, guys. So let's just start with the class. We are going to to make a review. Oh no, sorry. Um, just give me a second. I will open the yes, that's it. The PowerPoint presentation for today, right? The twenty-four. And I will share it with you. So no, today we don't have review. We're going to start just with the PowerPoint presentation, right? Yes, we have a lot of material today. Come on. Nice. Okay, just sharing the screen with the you. last week. Sorry? Ah, this, this is the, the last, last week, week, right? This is the last week. And on Thursday, uh, we're going to make a little review a little review and I will choose some of the topics that were difficult for you and the second part of the class is going to be the test right together we're going to go point by point I know some of you finish the test I know that congratulations but it's good to to review and to practice together right maybe you can uh, you can give your 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 participation in class and and help me, right, with the class and next Thursday with the test, the final test, right? And as far as I know, you have until Friday, next Friday, to finish the the platform, right? All the knowledge tests, the midterm, the final test, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then you can have your certification. And the next level, pre-intermediate four, right? Pre-intermediate four. Okay. Oh, no. So, excuse me, questions? Question? Okay, no. So, uh, and probably you're going to have a new teacher, right? But, of course, it's a, always a pleasure to work with such smart students like you. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Now, let's start. Let's start with the PowerPoint presentation. The sooner... Is there right now? Okay, come on. Here we have. Okay. The topic for today are conversation, making plans. We're going to talk about plans for the future, right? And also we're going to learn uh, the grammar future with present continuous. Oh, there is a mistake here. I miss a you, right? Me faltó una U aquí. Continuous. Okay, sorry. And be going to. Right? Be going to. These two structures are to describe the future. Okay? Now, to start, we're going to learn about the, the objective, right? The lesson objective. Uh, please, Jose Perez, can you read for me? The objective for the class, Jose? Um, Okay, lesson objective. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between two people making plans, future with present continuous, and be going to our introduce. Okay, thank you very much. So a conversation and the introduction of the of the use of present continuous. Yes, this is where right. Aquí sí lo escribí bien. And be going to right. Okay. So that's the idea. Let's go to the conversation and let's practice this conversation. But before to go to the conversation, we always have vocabulary that is used in the conversation and in the grammar, right? Uh, and listen, bowling, soccer match, until, afterward, tonight, tomorrow, on Friday or on Saturday, on Sunday, etc., etc. This weekend, next week. Or next weekend, right? And next 
uh, or this week, you know, you can make a combination of the expression of time. Now, please repeat after me. Bowling, soccer match, until, afterward, tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. Good, any question? Any question about vocabulary? Afterward. Afterward, después. Después. Luego de. Afterward, right? Afterward. Bowling, teacher. Bowling is galaxy bowling, okay? Boliche. Yes. But when you say boliche, it's not. <laughs> it's a sport, right? <laughs> It's a sport, okay? Bowling, galaxy bowling, eh? Have you visited galaxy bowling? Okay, and, and another question? Another question? No. Okay, doctor. Afterward. Afterward, después, luego de, okay. afterward, okay. yes. Until. Often, ah, until, hasta. Hasta, okay. okay. We have classes until Thursday. We have classes until Thursday. Friday, no more. <laughs> okay? Good. So, until. Now, let's go to the next part. Okay, this is the, for the conversation, right? So, we're going to go to the conversation. And here. Making plans. Is opening for you? Okie dokie. Hi. Are you ready to start? This demo study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Good. Try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay. Now we're going to listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Say, Miguel. What are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? 
Ok, only Ángel, please. Ángel, repeat, please. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Thank you very much. Now, do you want to go bowling? Everybody, please, everybody. Do you want to go bowling? Okay, now, uh, this is, oh, sorry. Por ahí quedó micrófono encendido. Ángel. Ángel, creo que es el suyo, Ángel. No, okay, yes, thank you, thank you very much. Now, Betty, please. Do you want to go bowling? Betty? Hello? Hello? Okay, Betty, repeat, please. Do you want to go bowling? Do you want to go bowling? Thank you very much. Everybody now. I love to. I love to. Now everybody, everybody. I love to, but I can't. I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match. I'm going to a soccer match. With my brother. With my brother. Okay, thank you, Betty. Ahora vamos a poner el micrófono. Now, Brenda, Brenda, please. Only you, Brenda. I love to, but I can't. I love to, but I can't. Thank you. Now, Felipe, please. Felipe. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. With, with, with. With my brother. Thank you very much. And remember to say, I'm, you close your lips, I'm going. I'm going. Good. 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 I, hear, I hear you say with. With, uh -huh. yes. With, with my brother. With my brother. Uh, with, with D, with, with, with my brother. Uh -huh. uh, okay, so in some places you're going to listen with, with, right? But most uh, is, is say with D, with, with my brother, okay? I recommend to check the, the San Google. <laughs> and remember, you have to copy the word and copy pronunciation. For example, you say, quiero ver cómo se pronuncia esto with. And then you go to your cell phone, right? Or your computer in, 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 Yahoo, in Google and copy with, right? And then pronunciation, click. And you're going to listen, right? Okay. Now, let's go. Everybody, repeat after me. Oh. Well, maybe some other time. Mm, 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 maybe. Mm, mm, maybe. Some. Mm, mm, some. Time. Mm, mm. Notice the use of mm, the M, right? M. Time. Don't say time, next time. No, no, please. It's next time. Okay, now, please. Again. Well, maybe some other time. Okay, now, please. Gloria, please. Gloria Palma, ladies and gentlemen, listen to Gloria. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, well, maybe some other time. Okay, listen, Gloria. Some. Some. Excellent. Other time. Time. Mm -mm -mm. Time. Say, Gloria, time. Time. Excellent. I remember a song that is, that's the name of the song, time. Is the time of the season. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a good song, right? Time, time. Now, next one, please. Everybody, repeat after me, please. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Are you doing anything tomorrow? Anything? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Anything? Anything? We could go then. Could. 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 Go. Go. Don't say go. It's go. Then. In this case, it's, it's an end, right? Then. Okie dokie, so let me see. Yvette, please help me. Are you doing yes, it tomorrow? Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could, could then. We, we could, we could. 
We could put them. Okay. Next one, please, everybody. Tomorrow sounds fine. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. I'm going to work until five. Jose Magaña, please. <coughs> Sorry. Jose Magaña. Okay. 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 Tell me. Tomorrow sounds fine. Sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm going to work until five. Yeah, thank you. What, what's the name of your dog? La <laughs> uh, I have five dogs. Five dogs. <laughs> That's nice. I like, I love those, right? But because I live in an apartment, I cannot have a dog, sorry. But you have five, okay, nice. Jose, please, only you. So let's go around six. Jose Perez, please. So let's go around six. So let's go around six. Thank you very much. Now, Karen, please. Only you, Karen, okay. Okay. Okay, only that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Listen, afterward, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Maybe we can. We can maybe get. We can get some dinner. Thank you. And mm -hmm. to finish, Lisette Ramirez. Sounds great. Repeat, please, Lisette. Sounds great. Sounds great. Okie dokie. Thank you. Now we're going to listen and repeat, everybody. Right. Listen and repeat. Give me a second here. Vamos a hacer algo aquí. You may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Okay, please repeat. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to. Notice that said I'd, I'd, I'd love to, right? But I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh. Well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Good, that is the conversation. Now we're going to continue with the PowerPoint presentation. Lesson objective, right? The second objective for tonight. Uh, let me see who's going to help me. Oscar, Oscar Martinez, please. Can you read the, the objective for me, please, and for the class? Yes, yes teacher. By the end of the, this, this season, you will have learned of the use feature with the present continuum and be going to. Thank you very much. So when we finish today's session, we're going to have two structures, the present continuous and be going to. Now let's begin now, because this is kind of long, right? Look, the present continuous. This is the present continuum for the present, right? It expresses actions in progress now, in this moment, right? ¿Qué está pasando ahorita? ¿Qué es lo que está llevando a cabo, right? Use a form of be, that is am, um, are, and is. And a present participle. 
what is a present participle? A present participle is a verb plus ing. Un presente participio es un verbo más ing. Okay? That's a present participle. So, the present continuous is una forma del verbo to be, am, are, and is, y un presente participio, que es un verbo más ing, que es lo que conocemos en español como ando, ¿verdad? Estoy volando, estoy comiendo, estoy sufriendo, ¿ok? Ando, endo, right? That is the, I, the present continuous in, in, in Spanish, right? Now, listen, example, right? Affirmative. I'm studying, or I am studying, right? This is the contraction. So we have the verb to be am um, plus study plus ing. I am studying. Okay, you are shaving. You're shaving. Is you plus are plus the verb shave, right? Notice that shave ends in e. Como el verbo shave termina en e, eliminamos la e. Elimination. Drop. Borrarla. Desaparecerla. Caput. Y luego le ponemos ing. Right? Ok, now. She's taking a bath. Again, take. Termina en e. La eliminamos la e. La desaparecemos, right? And we add ing. Taking. So this is the rule, right? A la mayoría de verbos le vamos a agregar ing. Y los que terminen con e, le, le borramos la e y le agregamos ing. ¿Ok? Good. Now, let's continue. It, it is raining. It is raining. It is. Verb to be is. Rain the verb and ing. We are watching TV. ¿Ok? We are watching TV. Or contraction, we are watching TV. Watch plus ing. And they are exercising. De nuevo le eliminamos la e y agregamos ing, right? Okay, these are the, the rules. Now, in negative we only add the word not. Solo le agregamos la palabra not. Y ahí tenemos la oración. I'm not eating. You're not making lunch. O oh, you aren't making lunch. She's not taking a shower, or she isn't taking a shower. It is not snowing, or it isn't snowing. We're not reading, or we aren't reading. They're not taking a nap, or they aren't taking a nap. Okay, and then we have here the, the present participle, right? Okay. Aquí solo nos hace falta una regla, que es cuando los verbos llevan consonante, vocal consonante, le vamos a doblar la, la última consonante y luego le agregamos ing. En el caso de running, ¿ok? Que lleva una doble n. Good. Now, please. Any question so far? Do you have any question, class? This is the general structure, right? Ok. Yes? Questions? No, no question. Excellent. I like it. Este es un repaso. Esto lo vieron ya en básico ustedes, ¿verdad? Es, like we say in Spanish, pan comido, right? <laughs> okay, now. Uh, here we have the present continuous with information question. How do you use the present continuous with information question? That is, what information word, like what, where, when, etc., etc. The verb to be, the subject, the verb plus... ING, right? Sure. Yes, tell me, tell me, Jose. ¿Cómo se dice pan comido en inglés? Uh, that's a piece of cake. A piece, un pedazo de cake. Ah, es un pedazo de cake, right? Huh? A, a piece of cake. Oh, there is another, right? That's a breeze. Okay. That's a breeze. Eso es como una brisa. Ah, come on, right? Uh, para José Magaña, las matemáticas. Ah, come on. That's a breeze. Mm. That's a breeze, right? That's a okay. piece of cake. <laughs> Understand? A piece of cake and a breeze. Okay? Now, please. Continue. Now. Note the different word order when we use, we use who. 
Cuando usamos who, cambia el, el orden, ¿ve? Who is working? Porque le estamos preguntando quién es el que está trabajando, right? ¿Mm? En lugar de decir who is Ben working, right? No tendría lógica porque estamos dando ya la respuesta. So, who is Ben working? No, es who is working, ¿ok? Aquí cambia un poquito la estructura. But in general is information question word, verb to be, subject, verb ing. ¿Ok? What is she wearing? ¿Qué es lo que está vistiendo? Es a long black skirt. Where is he driving? ¿Hacia dónde está manejando? To work. What are you doing? We're checking email. Where are they going? ¿A dónde están yendo? They're going to the movies. Now, let's go to the topic today. Este es el tema de ahora. Listen, please. The present continues with present and future time expression. Listen. Are you watching TV right now? My daughter is, right? Mi, mi niña sí está viendo televisión ahorita, in, in this moment, right? She's watching TV. Hmm? But when I say I'm buying shoes, it's not that right now I'm buying shoes. I will buy the shoes in the future because I have the word tomorrow. Eh, cuando agregamos una expresión que indique futuro, la acción de la que estamos hablando en el presente continuo es uh, en futuro. ¿Ok? And notice the structure. Please, do not forget this. No se les va a olvidar esto porque cuando veamos el siguiente tema ahorita, se me van a confundir. Así es que veamos bien los pasos. Verb to be. Siempre debe llevar el, el verbo to be. El verbo y luego ing, ¿ok? Verb to be, the verb plus ing. Esas dos partes no se les olvide. Now, I'm not studying English this year. Este año no estoy estudiando inglés. En el caso de ustedes, gracias a Dios, sí. They're cleaning the house on Friday. So it's future, right? She's working at home this week, esta semana. But it says Janice, Janice meeting deal. At five o'clock this afternoon. Esta tarde. No ahorita, sino que esta tarde, la que viene, right? Okay. So notice that when I use expression that indicate that the action is happening, aunque sea la expresión larga, un año o una semana, pero está pasando ahorita. Está pasando en el momento. Okay. Puede ser que empezó a estudiar inglés ayer y que va a seguir todo el año, pero es, está pasando ahora. Pero cuando digo el viernes, todavía no es viernes. Ok, mañana, todavía no es mañana. Ahorita. Y aquí cuando dijeron esto de la reunión, me imagino que lo dijeron en la mañana. <risa> ok, so this afternoon. Ok. So, we can use the present continuous to talk about the present. And we can use the present continuous to talk about future plans. Ok. Good. Any question? So far? Yes. Come on, Gloria. En el caso del futuro, planes futuros tiene mm -hmm. que llevar, eh, en este caso que dice tomorrow, yes. pero si yo solo dejo hasta eh, shoes, shoes, I'm buying shoes, present. es que está siendo presente. Yes, yes, you're right. But sometimes mm -hmm. it depends on the context, right? Pero también depende del contexto. Si está en una conversación que ya comenzó con, con el futuro, ya todo el mundo entiende que las acciones que se va a describir son en el futuro, ¿verdad? Pero una oración así, pelona, simple, and buying shoes, como no lleva una oración de futuro, entonces presente continuo, de presente, ¿ok? ¿Understand? Okay. Sí, porque recuérdense que el, el inglés no es así como lo vemos, ¿verdad? Una oración y la otra y ya estuvo. ¿no? En la vida real hay diferentes contextos. Ok, pero siempre que hay indicación de que eso va a ocurrir en el futuro, el presente continuo es usado para describir ese plan o esa acción que tenemos. Ok, good. Tiene que ir el adverbio de tiempo. Yes, yes, José. It's mandatory. O al menos una indicación que lo que va a ocurrir esté en el futuro, ok. Pero generalmente el 99% de las veces sí lleva la expresión de tiempo, ok. 
And we have more, right? Tomorrow, next, next, next Saturday, next week, etcétera, etcétera. Solo que estos planes no son tan a futuro, tan lejanos. Por ejemplo, yo no digo, I am buying shoes in two years. De aquí a dos años voy a comprar zapatos. No, 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 right? Uh, it's, it's, um, the time is not extensive, right? El, el, el tiempo no es tan extensivo. Ok. Now, this is the en, present. En el caso se utilizaría, se utilizaría el, el going to. Going to, correct. Or will, right? Or okay. will. Or will. Thank you. Or will. Exactly, exactly. Y hablando del be going to, aquí tenemos el be going to. No vayamos a confundir el be going to con el presente continuo. Ok, ya les voy a decir cuál es la diferencia. Listen, listen. So, use be going to plus the base form to express future plans. Future plan, like the present continuous, you know? Okay. But I say, I am, okay, si usamos el, el verbo to be, okay, going to relax. Ajá. Uh -huh. José Magaña, please. ¿Cuál es el verbo en esta oración? I am going to relax this weekend. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Uh, to relax. Relax, exactly. Relax, right? So, listen, I'm not saying I am going to relaxing. Eh, incorrect, right? I am going to relax. Ahí está la diferencia. Que en el presente continuo, veamos por aquí. En el presente continuo, el verbo principal es el que lleva ING. Eh? Watching, studying, working. Pero en el, el be going to, el verbo no lleva ING. El que lleva ING es el auxiliar en este caso, o el modal, right? Sí. Aquí llevamos el going. To. Es el auxiliar. Y no cambia, todos llevan going to, going to, going to, going to, going to. Aquí no nos preocupamos de la regla, ¿va? porque solo going to vamos a poner. Y el verbo ahí en su base form, en la, voz, en la base del verbo, ¿ok? Good. Now, yes, yes, come on, Felipe. Y se puede decir going to go. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to go to the beach next week. Yes, you can say that. Okay. I'm going to go. Yes. Like you say, what do you do, right? Do, do. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Yes, it can, it can be, right? Okay, por aquí me preguntan si son tres verbos. Eh, sí. Pero digámoslo así, el verbo to be es un verbo auxiliar. El going to es como un modal. Ok, Recuer recordémonos la diferencia entre auxiliares y modal, right? Los auxiliares son bien generales. Y son el verbo to be, do, does, did, y have, has, had. Esos son los auxiliares. Pero el, el going to no cambia. Entonces, dijéramos que este es un modal. Entonces, tenemos un auxiliar, un modal y un verbo principal, sí. Podríamos decir que sí hay tres verbos, ¿ok? Pero que el verbo principal, la acción principal es relax, ¿ok? Good. Y en la negativa solo usamos not. Ok, now let's practice the conversation. Please, repeat after me. I'm going to relax this weekend. Repeat, please, repeat, come on. You're going to relax this weekend. He's going to relax this weekend. She's going to relax this weekend. We're going to relax this weekend. They're going to relax this weekend. I'm tired. Ya me cansé. So, um, Angel, you're going to help me. Please, ayúdeme a repetir las oraciones, Angel. I'm, please, I'm not going to, okay? Now, Angel, ready? One, two, three. I'm not going to, to go camping this weekend. Thank you. Please, Betty, help me, Betty. Yours. Betty? Hello, hello, Betty. Hello. Miss Vasquez, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you. 
Read the next one, please. Léame la siguiente. Your... You're not going to go camping this weekend. Thank you, please. Brenda Álvarez. His... Miss Alvarez, please. His. Hello, teacher. Okay, read, please. Léanos para la clase. He's not. He's not. He's, Good evening. He's, sorry for late. He's, Good evening, Alan. He's not. Alan, sorry. He's not. Uh -huh, he's not. He's not going to camp in this weekend. Excellent. Very good. Permítame, solo vamos a tomar asistencia a Alan. Okay, thank you. Now. Eh, ¿Alguien más que se ha incorporado? No, ok, continúe, please. Eh, Felipe, next one, please. Felipe Chis. She's not going to go camping this weekend. Thank you, Gloria. We're. We're not going to go camping this weekend. Perfect. Yvette. They are not going to go camping this weekend. My goodness, what a good pronunciation. Yes, they're. Some people say they're, right? They're not going. No, no, please. So thank you, Yvette. It's correct. They're not going. Thank you. And then we have the yes, no questions. Are you going to sleep late tomorrow? Is she going to travel to Europe? Are we going to be on time? And then you say, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Don't say, yes, I sleep. No, no, yes, I am, right? Because the auxiliary is the verb to be. El auxiliar siempre va a ser el verbo to be, right? Or don't say, yes, I'm going. No, no, yes, I am. Or no, I am not, right? Good. So that's it. Now, do you see the difference? The two structures I used to express future, the present continuous, and the be going to both the structures, ambas estructuras, both the structures, are used to express future, right? The difference is that uh, the ING is in the main verb. El ING lo vamos a poner en el verbo principal, en el presente continuo, right? And, and be going to, el verbo lo dejamos normal, solo que agregamos el auxiliar going to, right? Good. Any question? Teacher, ¿qué yes, tiempo said, es este? Future. Ambos son futuros. Okay. Aunque Lisette, al principio yo expliqué que el presente continuo era para el presente. Y es cierto. Uh -huh. Pero solo para repasar. ¿Verdad? Y luego nos ubicamos que además del presente, el presente continuo describe una acción futura también. Uh -huh. Y le vamos a agregar una expresión de tiempo que indique que es futuro. Tomorrow, next week, next Friday, etc. Right? Ok. okay. Good question, Lisa. Now, another one, please. Otra preguntita. Questions, questions. Teacher, I, con, I confuse a little bit uh, going with, we say, gonna. Ah, it's the same, all right. Es lo mismo, gonna, es lo mismo. Gonna, right, es lo mismo. Solo que es, eh, bueno, bien común en Estados Unidos, por cierto, pero, pero es... It's informal. It's informal, right? Okay, okay. It's informal. But it's the same. Lo mismo. He's gonna relax. Huh? Gonna relax this weekend. Huh? Okay. okay. Thank you. Good question, Jose. Bien. Because it's, it's very common. It's muy común, es cierto. En las canciones, en las películas. Eh, gonna, right? Sure. Yeah, it's like more relaxed when you say uh -huh. that. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. It's, no es polite, but it's normal. For the it's more common, yes. yes. Ajá, uh -huh. eh, who's talking? José Magaña. José. ¿Usted También me este, uh -huh. en lugar de decir, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, o, o I am, dicen Aima. Aima, ah, ok. Yes. Y también usan para el negativo, usan la palabra ain't. Ain't. Especialmente los ain't. 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 Ain't.
Ain't not gonna go to camp. Ain't not gonna. <risa> ok, así eh, hablan un poquito, ¿verdad? Por eso es que a veces es tan difícil entenderle, ¿verdad? <risa> Porque nosotros aprendemos el inglés de un libro, pero ya cuando vamos a, a Estados Unidos, a Jamaica o a Inglaterra, pues ya, ya es un poco más diferente la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Pero aquí tenemos la base y ya cuando llegamos allá, pues ya nos adaptamos, ¿verdad? Ya, ya vemos que, ain't I gonna go to the party, man. <laughs> ok. Good. Now, please. Any other question? No? Ok. So let's continue, right? Eh, let's practice. Ahora sí vamos a la, a, a la práctica eh, real, right? Natural setting. Listen, please. Vocabulary. More leisure activities. Read and listen. One. Travel. Two. Go camping. Three. Go fishing. Four. Relax. Five. Hang out with friends. Six. Sleep late. Seven. Do nothing. Now listen again and repeat. Travel. Go camping. Go fishing. Relax. Hang out with friends. Sleep late. Do nothing. And also we have other activities here. Oops, sorry. Okay. Listen and repeat, please. Check email. Exercise, go dancing, go out for dinner, go running, go to the beach. Desde ahora se puede, pero no se lo recomiendo, eh? go to the beach. Now, go to the movies, listen to music, paint. Play soccer. Okay, now we're going to practice with this present continuous. Ready? Okay, please be ready with the, your microphone. Estemos listos a encender el micrófono, okay? I'm going to ask Alan, Angel, Betty, Brenda, Felipe, Gloria, Yvette, Jose Magaña, Jose Pérez, Karen Meléndez, Lisette, en Oscar, en that order, en ese orden le vamos a preguntar. Eh, ¿Alguien se me escapó? ¿No? Ok, be ready, please. With the present continuous, Alan, travel. Tell me a sentence, dígame una oración con travel. Present continuous. Alan. I, I like to travel a lot. No, it's I am. Oh, I am traveling. Excellent. I'm traveling. I'm traveling. I'm traveling when? a lot when? this year. No, 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 no. Please. I no. need you to tell me not this year, porque entonces sería el presente, porque este año. Oh, okay. Maybe so you can say. I'm traveling. I'm traveling to Santa Ana. When? Today. When? Next. You could say. Alan, next Saturday, next Monday. Oh, okay. I'm I'm traveling. I'm traveling to Santa Ana next week. Excellent. Go camping. Ángel Martínez, please. Go camping. Present continuous. I'm going, I'm going camping next, next week. Excellent. Very good. Betty, Very good. Betty Vázquez. Go fishing, present Go continuous. Ángel nos ha dejado el, el micrófono ahí. Thank you, Ángel. Okay, thank you very much. Now, please. Go fishing, Betty. Present Go continuous. Go fishing next week. 
Ok, relax. Brenda. Present continuous. Relax. Repeat, please. Hello, teacher. Relax. Present continuous. You can say she, I, we, they. He relaxing. He is. He is. He is relaxing on his net vacation. Her, he is relaxing his net vacation. Okay, thank you. Now, please. Uh, Felipe, da, bueno, Dani Sandoval no estuvo ahora con nosotros. Dani, no está ahí, ¿verdad? Okay, sorry. Now, please, Felipe, help me. Hang out. Salir a fregar, salir a pasear, right? With friends. Uh, be going to. Felipe, be going to. Felipe. Sorry, teacher. Okay, please. Um, I am going to hang out with friends tonight. Excellent. Tonight. Oh, okay, nice. Sleep late. Please. Uh, Gloria Palma. Sleep late. Be going to. Be going to. I'm going to sleep late tonight. Oh, very good. And me too, Gloria, me too, because I have to work. <laughs> ok, eh, Iris Palacio no está ahora con nosotros también, pero nos han faltado varios esta noche. Ok, now, Yvette, please, do nothing. Pre eh, be going to, please, be going to. Um, I, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> you don't know, you can say, uh, they... They are going to, uh, please repeat, they are going to. They are going to do nothing. Uh-huh. ¿Cuándo? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> they are going to do nothing tomorrow, right? Do nothing, my favorite activity, mi actividad favorita. <laughs> okay, oh, now. Oh, Understand? I, I understand, yes. Okay, thank you. Now, Jose Magaña, please check email. Present continuous. Check email. Please, present continuous. I'm checking email every day. Mm. Every day is for the simple present. El every day uh, es para el presente simple. Yes? Uh -huh. Y aquí vamos a usar una expresión de futuro, right? I'm, I'm checking email tomorrow. Excellent. Thank you. Jose Perez, please. Exercise. Jose Pérez, exercise. Uh, eh, yes, be going teacher, to. I can hear. Uh, please, be going uh, to. We, we're going to do. What is the, the word? Exercise. Teacher? Exercise. Uh, we're going to do exercise tomorrow. Uh -huh. eh, solo elimineme el do. Jose. We're going to exercise. Uh -huh. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let me see. Karen Melendez. Uh, go out for dinner. Karen, uh, present continuous. I am going out for dinner. I'm going um, to go. Please. I'm going to go. Say. Um, no, no. I wait, wait, wait. No, go. I say present no. continuous, right? Excuse okay. me. <laughs> Excuse me. I am me. going <laughs> out for dinner on Friday. On Friday, mm -hmm. thank you, right. excuse me. Ya le estamos haciendo trampa, ¿verdad, Karen? Excuse me. Ok, please, Oscar Martínez, go running, be going to. Oscar? I running tomorrow. Ok, be going to, be going to. Ah, be going to. 
be going to I am tomorrow. going to please I am going to I am going to I am going I am going to tomorrow oh, go running go running tomorrow Okay now the full sentence ahora dígamelo completito Oscar come on I am going I am going 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 to going to running to go going going to, to go. go going to go uh -huh. running tomorrow okay thank you very much thank you okay very good estuvo un poquito eh, rapidito pero eh, recordemos que con, cuando va el going to el verbo go ya no le agregamos ing verdad so, so, so le dice, I'm going to go y cuando es el presente continuo, sí. I'm going running. ¿Ok? Running no es un verbo. Es un nombre. ¿Ok? No nos vayamos a confundir porque es, cuando digo... Eso le, iba, eso le iba a consultar, teacher. Porque okay. en este caso, running... Bueno, pensaba que era un verbo y que estaba no, no igual es en, en ING. No, no, ING. Es un, no es un verbo. Es una, un nombre que indica una actividad, como swimming. I like to go swimming. Entonces, el swimming no es un verbo, no es una acción. Le llamamos gerundio, gerund. ¿Ok? Porque es, es un verbo con ing que está representando un nombre. ¿Sí? Y, por cierto, aquí está la regla que yo les mencioné. Cuando lleva R consonante, U vocal y N, o sea, consonante, vocal, consonante, se le dobla la última consonante y luego se le agrega ing. Cuando lo usamos en verbo, ¿verdad? Aquí está usado como nombre también, pero para que no se les olvide. ¿Ok? Son tres reglas. Agregamos ING. Si el verbo termina en L, borramos la E y le agregamos ING. Y si el verbo termina en consonante, vocal, consonante, le doblamos la última consonante y luego le agregamos ING. ¿Ok? ¿Y cómo podemos distinguir cuando está usado como nombre y cuando como verbo? Ah, por el lugar. Por el contexto. Por el contexto. O... Por ejemplo... Cuando es verbo, cuando va después del sujeto o después del modal, por ejemplo, vaya. vamos acá. Go dancing, uh, go dancing, right? I, simple present, right? I go dancing. ¿Cuál sería el verbo? En el presente simple, I go dancing. ¿Cuál sería el verbo ahí? Go. Go. Uh -huh. go. Y el verbo go va después del sujeto. No sería correcto decir I dancing go, ¿verdad? Entonces el verbo es, ok, el no. verbo go. Y lo que sigue después es un complemento. Podemos tener un infinitivo, I go to dance, o podemos tener un gerundio, I go dancing. En ambos casos ya no son verbos, son nombres, ¿ok? Ahora y bien, ese, ese, vamos ese. al presente continuo. Solo déjeme darle los dos okay. ejemplos. Con el presente continuo y con el be going to. I am going dancing. Y vea que a los dos, al verbo y al nombre le pongo ing. Going dancing. ¿Es eso posible? Claro que es posible. Porque uno representa la acción y otro representa un nombre. Going es la acción y dancing es un nombre. ¿sí? Puedo decir también, I'm going to the park. Puedo decir perfectamente, voy al parque. No hay problema, ¿verdad? Y ahora con el be going to. I am going to go dancing. ¿Ok? Entonces, siempre el dancing va al final como un nombre. E inclusive puede poner dos. Puede decir, I am going to go dancing and swimming. ¿Ok? Después de bailar me voy a nadar. ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Puede usar dos. Y varios nombres. ¿sí? Pero el verbo siempre va a seguir siendo go. Y está después del sujeto, ¿ok? Ahora, si quiere usar el dancing como un verbo, también se puede. Podemos decir, I am dancing tomorrow. I am dancing tomorrow. Y ya ahí, como el verbo dancing, eh, la palabra dancing va después del sujeto, entonces sí se convierte en, en, en acción, ¿ok? Teacher. Yes, Yvette. Significa me. que... Eh... La regla del going to uh -huh. eh, 
se va a poner porque se antecede el go dancing, go out, mm -hmm. go run. Correct, yes. Ah, ok. Yes. Y el, como, como dijimos, ¿verdad? El go dancing, go playing, go, lo que sea que vayan a ir. Esa es la acción principal, ¿sí? Ok, ya casi se nos fue la hora, ¿verdad? Y tenemos un montón de actividades que hacer. Uh, había un ejercicio, pero quizás lo vamos a hacer mañana, ¿yes? Me acuerdan que hay que hacer este ejercicio mañana. Ok, now we're going to check the, the video of the platform, right? Please, let's watch it and we finish the class with this. Okay. <coughs> Three minutes for it, right? Going to do this weekend. Write your plans in our discussion. Sorry. You ready to talk? Before we see the video, antes de que veamos el video, recuérdense que necesito sus comentarios, ¿verdad? Eh, tengo pocos comentarios de ustedes, así que por favorcito, los que nunca han comentado, se van aquí a discussion. Le agregan un ad post y me ponen su... Ah, sí, aquí hay varios, ¿ves? Felipe ya comentó Gloria. Este no sé de quién es. Y aquí está Karen también. Mm, congratulations. Pero sí necesito que la mayoría lo hagamos. Solo pongo el video y terminamos la clase. Si hay alguna pregunta extra, me la hacen después del video. ¿Ok? Come on. Talk about future plans. Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until five. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we planned actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, We add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. 
on Friday, this weekend, next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. Okay, that's it, right? Now, any extra question? About these two topics, two topics in one, right? <laughs> present Teacher, continuous. what is the... And, and present continuous and be going to for the future. That's the topic. Uh -huh. Yes, question? What is the difference for you uh, present continuous or be going to for future? Well, basically is that the present continuous is more like close in time. Right? Okay. And the going to is like more general. El presente continuo como que habla de este fin de semana, mañana, en la tarde, este sábado, right? Y el be okay. going to como que alcanza más. And I will, uh, I will travel to Europe next year. Voy a, el otro año, okay? Pero también habla de I am going to uh, drink a coffee. Igual, ajá, se puede ajá, usar o sea, para cercanos también. Para cercano y lejano. Es como que es okay. más general el be going to, ¿verdad? Y el presente continuo okay. como que es más, no alcanza mucho tiempo más allá, ¿no? Ok. ¿Verdad? Pero sí, ambos pueden usar, ser usados perfectamente para planes, planes, plane, sorry, planes futuros. <risa> ok. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Come on, it's time to put yeah, the question. Yeah, yes, yes, teacher, Jose Perez, why, come on. Why, when I did my sentence, uh, you told me that I need to eliminate do, why, tell me no. Uh, in, but the, the, the example I asked you, Jose Perez, was in present continuous or in be going to? Be going to. Uh, okay, I don't remember exactly, but, but uh, when I say... Uh, Wait, wait. I, I don't remember the example. Very Because well. I say, no I me say recuerdo we're going ejemplo. to, I say, Ajá. we're going to exercise tomorrow. Ah, no, that you say two exercises. We're going yes. to, to do, you say to do uh -huh. exercise. Ajá. Es que me uso dos verbos, José. To ah, do okay. exercise. Ajá. Entonces, el, le dije que eliminara el do. Entonces, era solo to exercise en lugar de to do exercise. Ok. Mm. Pero okay, la prepos okay. the preposition was ok. La preposición estaba bien, ¿verdad? El usar los dos verbos es lo que no, no, no estaba correcto, ¿sí? Yes? Ok. Good. No more questions? Tell me, come on. I like questions. <ríe> me gustan las preguntas, ¿verdad? Eh, y si hay preguntas en el grupo, pues también, ¿verdad? Eh, porque estos temas, eh, desde la semana pasada venimos con algunas oraciones ahí que nos han costado, ¿verdad? Especialmente la que vamos a ver del del tell y el ask. Mañana vamos a ver ese tema, así que, ¿verdad? Y necesito que me hagan las preguntas en clase también, ¿ah? ¿eh? Yes? No, no questions. No, teacher. Excellent. So, have a good night. God bless you. God bless you. See you Thank tomorrow. you, teacher. Good night. Good night.